Hey, what's up, Master Trainers? This is your host, Charlie Jonas here, straight out of Charles Civic Valley, and today we're gonna be covering some updates. <laughs> Alright then, so in order for you to get to know all the updates about this game series, the best way to do it is to come here and access the game's Discord server, alright? Once you're there, all you need to do is to come here under the updates channel, all right? So today, in this video, we're gonna be covering some of them. Although before we get started, I gotta ask you something first. Would you like to become an etymology master just like me and get to know that Cherubi's name comes from the words Cherry and Cherubin? What makes this Pokemon a childish cherry? What makes a lot of sense and explains pretty much everything about its visual when typing? If the answer is yes, so you should check it out my Etymology Master online course. There I'm gonna be teaching you everything you need to know behind each Pokemon's name origin in a very fun, quick and visual way. Besides boosting your English vocabulary, you're also gonna earn an exclusive Etymology Master certificate after concluding each one of the courses. And plus all of that, you're also gonna get a bonus PDF file in order for you to be able to recap it offline anytime, anywhere you want. So if you're interested about it, don't forget to check it out the video going to be leaving up there in the cards. Alright then, with that being said, and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now, to be able to move with a full range of 5 spaces, using 4 energy coins in total, players will need to use the Bike Voucher item card, alright? So if you know nothing about item cards, I will explain all about them in a different playlist. So I'm gonna be leaving the video up there in the cards for you as well. Okay, so here is the bike voucher. And here how the bike energy coin looks like, alright? And here is the normal one by foot for comparison. Alright then, so these rules, no big deal at all. Since we're just talking about this item card right here. And it says, use this card to rent a bike and move further. Spend up to 4 energy coins this turn, alright? So it's just going to last that turn you use this item card. And when you do that, it'll be possible for you to use not only those two energy coins right here, but also these two ones, okay? Giving you a total of 4 energy coins to be used in that turn. No big deal at all. Alright, let's check it out another update. Now, while a Pokemon is out at a Poke job, players should use a substitute chip to fill its gap in the stash. Alright? So, I'll, again, if you know nothing about Poke jobs, I already explained everything about them. I'm also gonna be leaving the video up there in the cards. Alright, so here's just some very practical thing to do. Since when one of your Pokemon is out there at the Poke job, its slot is going to be empty, alright? And in order for you to don't forget that it's out there doing the pocket job and then you go and place another Pokemon here taking the room of that one and then making a confusion and not able to pick that one back because your stash will be full. So in order for you to prevent that, all you need to do is to send a Pokemon to the pocket job. So let's go ahead and say I just sent Kerubi, alright, there. So by the time I do that, I come here and place a substitute card where Kirubi was, alright? So let's say Kirubi had like 3 experience points, so I'm going to place the substitute chip right here. And once the Poké job is done, I'm gonna return the substitute chip and bring back Kirubi, alright? Of course, with its experience points it got from the Poké job. Nice. Let's go ahead and move on. So now it says the orange and black front chips have a stripe and an outer ring colored as the chip's back color, alright? So this is no big deal, if you watch the most recent videos, you already knew it's looking like that. So just for you to be able to picture better, we're gonna grab an example of each one of the colors, alright? Okay, so here we have a orange one, so it looks red from the back, but once we flip it, we can see it has an outer ring and a horizontal stripe in the color red, alright? To match with its back. And the same thing happens to the 
Ultra Beasts, also known as Black Chip Color. Okay, right here. So here we have Zerg Tree. Okay, he has an outer ring in a horizontal strip line, as red as its back. All right, just to make it easier for you to remember which color it is by looking at the front of the chip. Okay, so next one is going to be the now. All city spaces that hold a gym, aka where you have to face a gym leader rival card, whether it's mandatory or optional, will display a Pokemon gym symbol right there centered in the top of the space, alright? So that's no big deal as well, since this symbol is going to be matching this standing up bag right here, alright? So every gym, whether it's mandatory or optional, will present one of those, alright? If we take a better look on the map's art. Nice! Next one! Yellow Chip Pokémon now have 75 life points instead of 70, alright? So this is a, a recent update. This way they can match the red, back, orange label ones. Alright, so here's because now if we have a red chip, although with an orange front, it's going to have 75 life points, alright? which now is the same amount of the yellow ones, okay? Just the life recover, which is going to remain 20 points. But now the legendary, whether they are red or yellow, are going to have the same amount of life points. Next one says that from now on, players need to spend one energy coin in order to move through an ATM skill, all right? Weather one. So yeah, every, every time I'm using an ATM, and by the way, if you know nothing about ATMs, I already explained everything about them and how to use them in a different playlist here. So I'm also going to be leaving the video pre the cards for you to check it out. So yeah, uh, every time you use an ATM, you must flip a coin, alright? And you need one. Which means that if you have no coins to flip, even if you have an active Pokemon with an ATM, it won't be possible for you to use it, okay? Alright, so now he says that we have a new item card, so now players can move further, fly, or even surf without having to spend energy coins or to have a Pokemon with those HMs, alright? Moving across the map and exploring it's never been so easy, and that's true, okay? Because we have this item card now, which is the Poke Ride. Disregarding your energy coins, that's very important because it goes right against what I have just said in HMs, which means that doesn't matter if your Pokemon has HMs or not, you gotta choose one, okay? You could move up to four spaces in the same way as if you have used the bike voucher, or you could fly to the closest city space, no matter if you have been there or not, or use Surf, okay? Which are going to allow you to move from one surf spot to another surf spot within the same color region. Alright, so just to clarify, if you come here to the website and go under the item card page, here we can check the rules regarding the Poké Ride, alright? And here, where it describes the option number 2, which is the flying one, it says the player can fly to the closest city, even if he or she has never been there before. Although, as long as they have the prerequisites to do so, such as badges, if they are crossing regions. And the distance shall be based on the amount of spaces, alright? Disregarding shortcuts. So that's how this item card here works. And last for this video but not least, we have the bike voucher equivalent item card, although for the Orange Islands map, okay? Since if you are in an archipelago, it would make sense for you to move around using a bicycle. So, in order to make it more realistic, now we have the jetty ski, alright? So, it's going to do the same exactly row of the bike voucher one, but this item card will only be present on the Orange Islands map. Alright, and so if you want to be part of this server right here, go ahead and follow me on all my social media. This way you're gonna be up to date about any new content here of this project, alright? And if you wanna see me playing this game live, don't forget to follow me on the purple website as well, alright? Since there, very very soon, in fact, perhaps even 
next week I'm going to start playing this game live almost every day okay so if you want to check it out how it is to play this game in real time make sure to be there and watch me doing it and of course if you like to know all these game series updates don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe and share this video with everyone else you want to play this game with all right this way they can get to know all the rules and all the updates as well just like you do also don't forget that you could always come here to the pkmmtr.com in order to access the rules just like i did in a more visual and interactive way all right there you're also going to be able to click on the download button to request access to all the printable files from my google drive there you're going to be finding all the public content released so far which could be downloaded in order for you to print it out and assemble your own physical version of this game just like a huge diy okay although don't forget that in order to do that you gotta be a subscriber to this channel and to leave a comment down below to let me know you request the access and of course if possible also let me know the first half of your email this way is easier for me to find it okay so those steps are gonna cost you nothing and without them it won't be possible for you to get the access so please don't forget to do both and if you want to play this game right here just like i'm playing right now it's exactly the same mod with all the pokemon cards and chips from all generations combined so you should check it out on my patreon page there you're gonna be finding two options to back me up where one of them are going to give you as a reward a customized chip just like this one right here although with your information and picture on it and the other one is going to grant you early access all right through the early access you will not only be able to play this mod right here but also another 11 ones all right in between then you're gonna find different kinds of game modes such as the express game mode maps the super express game mode map the mini maps the traditional ones the go kento pokemon go game map and also the pokemon unite game map all right if you want to learn all about those different game modes i'm going to be leaving the meeting the maps playlist up there for you to check it out so if you want to learn more about my patrons page just check it out the links down there in the description there you're also going to find a link to the logos by nick academy a very cool platform full of courses which are going to teach you everything you need to know in order to become a logo creator master all right this way you're going to be able to master your skills and use free softwares such as gimp and inkscape to create very cool and professional logos just like these ones right here i have created to use in this project this way it might even be possible for you to get some gigs and make some extra income creating very cool logos to other people so if you're interested about it don't forget to check out the links down there in the description as well and also there you're gonna find another link to a list of cool products i recommend for you who's willing to build or even to renew your gaming setup all right very cool stuff very affordable so if you're down to buy anything like that please take a time and take a look on my list first i deeply appreciate it and of course i don't even have to mention that any product service or course purchased through the links down below are going to support this channel a lot and help me out to keep bringing you more content don't forget to ring the bell in order to get notified about new videos here in this channel i hope you guys liked what you're talking about today and i see you in the next one